Abraha ruled Yemen, which was a wealthy and prosperous land. Allah granted the people of Yemen abundant blessings. They were Christians. Abraha wanted to strengthen and spread Christianity. He saw how the people made pilgrimages to Mecca and circumambulated the sacred house. He decided that he should prevent the Arabs from performing these pilgrimages and guide them towards his own religion. For this reason, he built a church in Sana'a and decorated it extensively with rich ornaments which dazzled the eyes and bewitched the senses. He adorned it with expensive furniture so that he might attract the Arabs to it and encourage them to become Christians. To his surprise, the Arabs were never entrapped in his snare. Rather, they humiliated Abraha and belittled his church. The more he tried, the more they turned their attention toward Mecca and the Kaaba. He therefore determined to destroy the Holy Kaaba. He organized a large army and prepared well-trained elephants. He led the army to Mecca to destroy the Kaaba. When the Arabs heard the news, they rose up to defend their sacred house. Dhu Nafar, one of the gentlemen of Yemen, organized an army to fight Abraha in defense of the Kaaba but he was no match for Abraha and was soon defeated. Naufal Khafami also came forward to fight Abraha, but he too was defeated. Confident of victory, Abraha advanced towards Makkah. His army occupied all the lands through which they passed. They seized 200 camels, which were the property of Abdul Muttalib, the grandfather of the Holy Prophet. When they arrived at the outskirts of Mecca, they camped there, preparing to attack the Kaaba. Abraha sent a representative to the leader of Mecca to inform him that his intention was to destroy the Kaaba, not to fight. The representative said to Abdul Muttalib, Our king says that he has not come to fight you. Rather, he has come to destroy the Kaaba. He has ordered me to bring you to meet him. Abdul Muttalib and some of his sons went to meet Abraha. They arrived at his camp. Abdul Muttalib was a well-built, gracious and dignified man. Abraha welcomed him with great respect. Instead of asking him to sit beneath the throne, Abraha descended to sit beside him. Then he asked him, What can I do for you? Abdul Muttalib answered, your army has taken 200 of my camels. I want you to return my camels to me. Abraha was surprised at this request. Is that all you want? Your 200 camels? Instead of defending your ancestor's sacred house, which I have come to destroy? Abdul Muttalib looked at Abraha and answered, I am the owner of the camels. I must protect them. The Kaaba has its owner who will protect it. Abraha replied adamantly, No one can protect the Kaaba against my army. Abdul Muttalib said, Do whatever you want. We will see. Abraha complied with Abdul Muttalib's request and returned his camels. Abdul Muttalib went back to the city of Makkah. He advised the people to hide in the mountains in order to save themselves. The people of Makkah left their city and went towards the mountains. A great deal of noise filled the air. One could hear the bleeding of sheep, the sobbing of women, and the crying of children. Abdul Muttalib went to the Kaaba. He grasped the ring on the door of the Kaaba and invoked Allah to protect him from all evil. He cried, My Lord, everyone defends his house against aggression, so defend your house against the aggressors. Then he went to the mountains. It was time for Abraha 
to lead his army towards Mecca to destroy the Kaaba. He prepared his elephants and his soldiers. He looked at his army with pride as they advanced towards the Kaaba to demolish it. When Abraha's elephant came close to the Kaaba, it stopped and refused to go any further. The driver beat the elephant on its back with his whip, but to no avail. For instead of advancing, the elephant tried to retreat. Abraha was astonished to see the elephant behave in this manner, so he shouted with anger. The elephant driver did his best to force the elephant to advance towards the Kaaba, but the elephant refused to take even one step. Then a wonderful thing happened. The elephant knelt down. The driver's task had become very difficult indeed. Suddenly, flocks of birds appeared in the sky from the direction of the Red Sea. They rained down small clay stones upon Abraha and his army. They were completely destroyed, and in the words of the Quran, thus making them like chewed up straw. Abraha was alarmed and greatly astonished at this occurrence. He ordered his army to retreat to Yemen. But the birds followed them and continued to attack them with clay stones. Abraha arrived at Sana'a out of breath. He fainted and finally died. Abdul Muttalib gave good news to the people of Mecca, saying, Allah has destroyed the aggressors and saved the Kaaba. Islam will unite us all. Subhanallah.